Hi Cupcakes, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing another cash envelope stuffing video. I do get paid bi-weekly, so I get paid on the 5th and the 20th. So I always expect to see one of these videos at least two times a month. I am thinking of doing like a savings challenge or something like that, but I'm not too sure like how to get into it. So if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations of ones that I could try, something a little bit easy because I am still trying to save money for like moving and stuff like that. Um, which is still up in the air of like what our plans are for the future, but I do want to start saving a good amount. Oops, sorry. Um, and also want to give a shout out to some of my new subscribers, aka Cupcakes. I see that you guys have subscribed to my channel, so a big mahalo to you guys. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I found another local budgeter here in Hawaii. Her name is Budget with Brands, so I'll leave all of her description um or her channel in the description box down below if you guys are interested in following her and seeing what her channel is about um i also wanted to ask if you guys are interested in seeing how we budget living here in hawaii like i am born and raised here and i just kind of wanted to show you guys like the average cost of like necessities like groceries stuff like that and kind of like just show you guys how expensive it is like obviously everyone knows how expensive Hawaii is but I don't think a lot of people realize like it's like you live paycheck to paycheck basically if you live here and I mean since we're all trying to budget and everything like that I figured why not share with you guys some of like the cost of things here so if you guys are interested in a video like that let me know in the comments down below if not like it's fine it's cool but today we are going to be stuffing some envelopes in here um again my filming setup is a little bit different so i hope you guys like it um right here is the basic breakdown of what i always show you guys of what i'm going to be stuffing my expenses is down here the only thing i'm not going to be pulling is a 35 dollars from miscellaneous i already left that in my debit card so you guys won't be seeing that but everything else we're going to be stuffing so here's a little bit breakdown of what I'm going to be putting towards and get the cash out ready. So I'm going to take out my cash envelopes first and not that and also the cash. So I believe we are going to be stuffing $647 this time around. Um, I did get paid a little bit more, but I didn't want to stuff a lot because I wanted to put it towards my savings. So things can fluctuate depending on what I get paid. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the money out and yeah, just lay it out for you guys. So like I mentioned, I did have a new amount of subscribers subscribe to my channel and we're so close at 1600 subscribers and i just i'm very grateful for every one of you guys that have subscribed to my channel liking my videos commenting on my videos and just encouraging me to like you know continue this journey of trying to budget wisely um i don't get paid a lot here <laughs> even with my job so um, my goal is to try to get monetized with youtube i used to be monetized way back when i did a lot of beauty videos back in the day like back in 09 and 2010 if you guys are like one of my og subscribers and you guys would know that um but yeah i am trying to get monetized back because i really enjoy making these videos for you guys and i always said that even if i have one or ten subscribers i will continue um, making videos and you know I found my new hobby of wanting to share with you guys like these cash stuffing videos so that's kind of what I'm going to be merging my channel into but also still do some beauty items so yeah if that kind of interests you subscribe to my channel um, click that notification bell so you guys are notified of future videos from me and so you guys won't miss anything else so I have all my cash set up right there and here are my envelopes. I am going to be just leaving this here for now so it's a little bit easier for me to go over. So here are my little cash envelopes that I had made, excuse that, that's my little rewards for our local grocery store here. So eating out, I believe we have nothing left. 
and I'm just gonna put that to the side. Groceries, we do have some rollover money. So groceries, we have one, two, three dollars. And I'm gonna put the three dollars to the side. This is something new that I'm doing. And then for gas, I think we do have some leftovers. It's one, two, three, four. So we have a total of seven dollars in rollover money. And I'm gonna be putting the seven dollars to the side. And we're gonna start um, stuffing our cash envelopes. So the first one is gonna be gas. And gas normally gets $40 a month, not a month, every two weeks. Because it takes about $35, $36 to fill up my tank. So I go to Costco's because it's a little bit cheaper. So I'm just gonna get $40. And I like to keep this one in this little mini cash envelope. I do want to purchase like nicer ones, but for the time being, this will do. I did purchase a little bit more from the Etsy shop that I got my pink envelopes from. So look out for that. Hopefully they don't get lost. AK, if you guys remember my other video, you guys will know what happened with that mishap. So gas gets the usual 40. I'm gonna put that to the side. And then groceries is gonna get 50. So I have two envelopes for groceries. I have my mini one and I have the uh, one that I keep in my binder. So for groceries, it's gonna get 50, so I'm just gonna half it. I'm gonna put two 20s and a 10, and then I'll keep 30 with me in my wallet. We did just go grocery shopping, um, but I just Venmoed my boyfriend some money. So this one is gonna have 30. And then the extra 20 I'm gonna keep in here just in case I need extra money and I already I already went through like the little mini one that I had. So it's gonna get a 20 in there. Put that to the side. The next one is gonna be Melaluca and Melaluca is getting $60, so she's gonna get um, a 50 and a 10. I'm sorry if the table keeps shaking, guys. So obviously this one is empty because I did pay off my credit card today since it was due on the 8th, or it is due on the 8th, so that emptied out. So I'm just putting $60 in here for now. If I need to add more than I will. I didn't shop at Melaluca yet, so we'll see how much I spend next week. And then eating out is gonna get 30. And then I'm gonna put 20 in the mini one. And this is the one again that I keep with me. And the 10 in the one that I keep in my binder just in case. I need extra money and I already went through that 20. So eating out is done. So the next one is gonna be for phone and that gets 25. And then car insurance is 50. So this is the one that I keep aside and I give it to my mom at the end of the month. And I just keep that money in their little envelope. This one I keep their money that they um, they go fishing and they sell fish so whenever they give me the money i just keep it to the side and i don't spend it i just hold it on for them hold on to it for them so that's that and then i think we're done with the expenses so now we're going to go ahead and stuff our sinking funds which is always fun so the first one is going to be adventures and adventures is only getting 25 this time not really putting a lot yet in here so adventures I added 25 you should have 125 now so 50 100 20 and 5 so 125 saved for adventures which is going to be our travel or vacation money so that's that I'm so sad that I got bent you guys Ugh, my dumbass just threw it in my purse <laughs> And then for myself, I'm just going to give myself 
I do need to save money to get new Birkenstocks because mine is a little crusty. I had to retire it. So now I have 20, 30, and five. $35 saved. I mean, I could have added more this time around, but like I said, I do want to build up my savings account. That's my main goal right now. It's to get it to where it was before I paid off my car. And then car maintenance is getting $40 this month. So it's a lot more than what I normally would put, but I want to build it up. So I had $10 in there. Plus the 40 is going to give us 50 so 20 40 and 50 dollars saved i think i kind of want to average out certain sinking funds so like at least 20 or 25 dollars every paycheck that way there's a good amount let me know how you guys budget with that if you guys have any tips or recommendation and then christmas is getting 20 no christmas is getting 10 dollars Christmas has 20, 30, 35, what? 20, 30, 35, 40, 41. And like I said, I'll up this up maybe at the next check, but I'm not too worried about Christmas. <laughs> Date night is getting $20. And I honestly don't really know exactly what we're saving for for this one, but we'll see. And I already had a 10 in there, so it's $30 saved for date night. I like these envelopes, but I feel like they're so hard to put the money in compared to like the clear zipper ones that I have. Emergency is only getting five. Emergency has 20, 25, 30, 35, 36 dollars. Not a lot, but it's something. And I always say, and I always comment on other budgeters, like when they feel down about like just stuffing a five dollars or a dollar. I mean, it's five dollars or a dollar closer to what you had before, so that's what matters. And then for gifts, gifts is going to get 20 because it's almost Father's Day, so I kind of want to get something for my dad. Don't know what yet but gifts we have $30 saved now so 20 30 and I think I actually did pretty good with budgeting in the past two weeks I didn't go too crazy medical is getting 40 so 20 40 I'm kind of sad because my bills I got is really old and crinkly. <laughs> it's a little crusty. So, medical now has 20, 40, 60, 70. $70. I just went to the chiropractor yesterday, so I did use some money from it. My tattoo is only getting 50 this time around. Because my appointment isn't until next month, so I have time to save a little bit more. One, two, three hundred, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, four, ten, four, thirty, four, forty, four, fifty. Sorry, my bad. Four, fifty, guys. As you can tell, math was not my strongest subject in school so we have 450 saved for um, my tattoo and my next appointment is going to be my last one so i am going to be tipping my artists a good amount for that one next would be boo's money and then as you can tell his envelope is empty because i did give him the rest that i had saved um at his most recent appointment which was last week he started his sleeve tattoo so we're back to zero in here and right now he's just gonna get 
$20. His next appointment isn't until August, so I have time to save up for his tattoo and his actual birthday for like cake, taking him out to dinner, stuff like that. So he's just getting 20. Moving is getting 133. So the 30 the $33 is a little bit weird because I actually am stuffing for my check 120. But the $13 is actually from a Ebates check that I got, which if you guys didn't know, I'll leave my Ebates link down below, which is also known as Rakuten. If you guys shop online a lot, they pay you a certain percentage for certain stores for like online payment, um, online shopping. And I online shop at least once a month for GNC. So every quarter, I think they give you a check. So I got $13 back. So I'm just putting that extra 13 in that check towards my moving money. So that's kind of why it's a little bit weird amount. So it's getting 133. So 120, 130 and then $3. One, two, three. Okay. Wow, I'll mess with this one. So we can count the moving money. Hopefully, I don't mess up. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. One, two, three, four, fourteen hundred, fourteen fifty, fourteen seventy, fourteen ninety, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, ninety eight, fifteen oh eight. Yeah, I did not see that ten dollar bill, but we got fifteen oh eight saved. So that's a good amount that I have saved up so far. And like I said, we don't know when we're moving, but I just want to get a head start on saving. And then retirement, I'm not going to put anything in retirement right now. So it's just going to have that $5 bill that we had last time. School is going to get 15. And I am thinking of maybe doing like the monthly program or monthly payments, but we'll see. I just want to make sure I'm not like, you know, struggling with the payments when that time comes. So school has 20, 30, 35, 40. $40 saved. And then the last one, um, home is getting the $5 that we have left. It says 10 and 15. And then this one is empty. I did order a sticker that's gonna say rollover. So any money that I have left over in my cash envelopes at the end of the two weeks, then I'll roll it over into this and then we can count how much we saved. I figure that could be a way to find out like in how much we're actually saving doing this system. Or it could just mean extra money that I could use elsewhere. So in the rollover envelope, we're gonna put in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seven dollars that we had left over. Alrighty, guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys have any suggestions of what other future videos you guys would like to see, or if you guys are actually enjoying the uh, content that I have been putting out. I do wanna make other type of budgeting videos like you know like what i mentioned earlier with like budgeting wise for grocery shopping and stuff like that living here in hawaii so if you guys are interested in like kind of seeing the average cost for certain things that we pay here let me know because i see a lot of people that live in the mainland and they do the, these 25 dollars grocery budget for the week and they go to like these like kroger and i don't know what other kind of um grocery stores you guys have on the mainland but like it's a little bit different down here but let me know if you guys are interested in seeing something like that i am willing to do that kind of video for you and let me know how you guys like this filming setup if it's a little bit better than the other one that i had because i was doing that one upside down because of my tripod that i was using before so i got a new one and let me know if you guys are liking it and yeah 
like I mentioned before, big mahalo to my new subscribers, aka my cupcakes that have subscribed to my channel, engaging with me in my videos. I am really trying hard to get monetized before the end of the year. I was monetized before, but I did lose it because I wasn't as active here on my channel. But I finally found something that I enjoy filming other than like the old beauty videos because I feel like in the beauty community a lot has changed over the years from when I first started and when I got monetized here on YouTube but this is something I actually really enjoy filming for you guys and sharing with you guys and I think it's a good outlet for young people, older people like just to start saving money and a little bit being a little bit more like cautious of like where we're spending our money so yeah um please help me get back my monetization here on youtube um that's one of my goals that i have here for 2021 so yeah um so like i said again big mahalo to my cupcakes that have subscribed to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video